Hello everybody, welcome back to Bramski Vlogs. I'm Matt Brammel. Thank you very much for watching this video wherever you are around the world. It has been a very busy couple of days within the European ski industry. A lot of developments. Sadly, it is increasingly looking like the ski lifts are not going to be opening until early, middle of January. Um, it's a very tough thing to take. Um, it is by no means confirmed at the moment and there is still a lot up in the air just to kind of explain that um, there are a number of European ski countries that are having discussions. The governments are trying to come up saying that there should be a joined approach to opening the lifts within the new year. Some countries are on board with that, some are not. Um, so things are still developing all the time but we know within the last 24 hours in particular France have announced that uh, their lifts will not be opening in December. Um, the resorts can still be visited for snowshoeing and ski touring but um, in terms of actually getting a lift up the mountain and enjoying the slopes that way uh, it's not going to be possible. Uh, it's devastating news um, a, a country which um, you know relies quite a lot on um, uh, tourism and, and skiing is one one massive part of that um, uh, and and this decision you know it isn't taken easily with a lot of people right now the businesses are suffering and of course really thinking about the season our community right now um, the, the the European ski industry generates 34 billion euros every single year that is a huge amount of money and with that you have businesses, jobs, livelihoods, and the industry as a whole. My biggest fear right now is that if we do go down this route of some form of opening of lifts later on in January, we will only have a season about four or five weeks because as soon as there's another spike in cases, maybe around February half term, then um, they will just shut things again and then that'll be it because by the time it comes safe to open up again in late March, there will either be no snow, it will not be economically viable to open up for some businesses or at the very worst case, some businesses will have closed, they will have shut down. Um, we've had VIP Ski, a, a big luxury chalet company in the last week, go into administration. To be honest with you guys, I'm sat here this evening, it's Thursday, um, they've just announced here in the UK what areas are going into various tiers um, and I'm trying to make sense of everything at the moment. It, it's a lot to take in, it's a lot to digest and it, you know, we've for around eight months now it's just been sort of one troubling situation to another um, and I really worry about travel hospitality and tourism i really worry how long it's going to take to recover when it can start to recover because not even that is possible at the moment um and i'm still hoping i'm proved wrong i'm still deep down through commitment and optimism trying to to hope that there is a way still for this season to get up and running that people can go out and work um, but as we get closer to the Brexit deadline as well, that raises all kinds of other uncertainty and questions. Um, so I just want to take the time now to give a shout out to anyone who has a ski business, who is trying to figure out, you know, how to get in a job within the industry. If you guys have any thoughts, any questions, please, please do put them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys and engage with you on this subject. The final thing I just want to say, guys, is that this Sunday, Sunday the 29th of November at 7 p.m. UK time, uh, I'm going to be going on as a guest on the channel Snow Camps Europe hosted by Andy Rhodes. Uh, if you remember, he was a guest uh, on my channel just the other week. I'm going to be going on there talking about um, life as a holiday rep, uh, finding ski jobs and talking about my experiences in Japan, France and Austria. So be sure to tune, in, tune into that. That will be streamed across Snow Camps Europe's uh, YouTube and Facebook channel. So if you guys want to watch that, I will see you then. If not, I will catch you next time on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to Brandon Ski Vlogs. Stay safe, guys.